when the police refuse to enforce the noise ordinance so you can sleep at night, they actually get angry with you when you complain, and then they begin to look for reasons to harass or even lock you up. That's what they uh, did to my Uncle Melvin. He reported someone stealing $60,000 from Beckley, West Virginia, and uh, which was nothing but telling the truth. And then they sent out a couple of officers to question him, asking him questions like, you were talking bad, slandering the mayor, and you wanted to be the mayor, is that correct? Stuff like that, you know. I can tell you all right now, obviously, I've known my uncle a long time, and not once has he ever said that he wanted to be the mayor of Beckley, West Virginia, or anywhere else. However, he did indicate to me that he wished to be a delegate, and he ran for delegate and acquired the seat. But his intentions were never to be the mayor, but they want to insinuate such and put the pressure on him, you know, say that he's slandering people when all he's really doing is telling the truth about criminals, dishonest people, and they're all dishonest. So anything you say about them that's truthful is something they don't want you to talk about, and that's a fact. That's why that cop ran through here not once just now. He's unmarked, but twice, because he's... Uh, serve and protecting like the hero that he is. And then if you shoot some thug life for hitting you in the head till you bleed, they want to lock you up and then send you home with no weapon and allow the Black Panther organization to put a $10,000 hit basically on your head because it's not of the law, so it would be kidnapping, it could be a killing, it could be whatever the people that want it to be, right? And they said that they would apprehend the guy. They wanted him to be apprehended until the police came and got him. That's taking the law in your own hands, isn't it? Right? Right. Yeah, I do. Wow. That's a lot good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah.